you got to have the right equipment. You got to have the right stuff. Look, if you're going to go into business, if you're going to go into health and wellness, if I don't even really care what you're talking about. You've got to have the right equipment. Think about it. If you are the best car driver that ever walked the planet, Mario Andretti's got nothing on you, man. You own the show. And you go to NASCAR. You're like, I'm here, best driver in the whole wide world. And you hop in a Volkswagen Bug and everybody else is driving NASCAR cars. What's going to happen? You're going to get worked. (laughs) You're going to be not only last, but extraordinarily embarrassed as you're lapped like seven times on the first lap. Why? Because you don't have the right equipment. You can be the best. You can have the best golf swing that's ever been seen. I mean, just awe-inspiring, right? But guess what? If you're playing with like 1930s, you know, wooden sticks that don't bend with like flat metal heads with no grooves and and you're playing up against today's pros with today's equipment, guess what? You're going to lose and you're going to lose huge. Guys, you got to have the right equipment. So let's say you're like me and you're launching into a new voiceover company, right, to do audio books and commercial production and radio imaging and all these kinds of things. You've got to have the right stuff. If you can have the greatest voice, you can have a great delivery, but if you're if you don't have the right environment to record in, if you don't have the right microphone, if you don't have quality gear, you're going to get outshined by people that are less skillful but have the right stuff. What am I saying? Invest in you. If you're starting a business that requires you to have gear, spend the money, get off the wallet, get the good stuff, do it, invest in you. If you're in sales, Spend some money, spend some time to go to some sales classes and learn your skill. That's your equipment. That's your gear. If you're in sales, it's your skills. It's how you communicate. It's your ability to convey your passion. It's your ability to understand, ask questions and understand what the other person needs and then serve that need with compassion. That's what you do in sales. Those are skills. You can develop those, but you got to go get them if you don't know what they are. Take some sales classes, read some books, invest in you, get the skills. That's your gear in sales. Get that gear. Get the good stuff. Don't go cheap. Invest in you. If your health and wellness is important to you and you want to do something magical with your body and with you, you know, then spend the money to eat the right, to get the right foods. You can put the right fuel in your body. Buy the gym membership. Get a personal trainer if you don't know what you're doing. Invest in you. Why am I, why am I saying this is the daily dose, Brian, telling me to spend money? Because here's the thing, guys. You know, they say it takes money to make money. What it really takes is it takes a willingness to sacrifice first. That's what it takes. It takes a willingness to do what others won't do so you can achieve what others don't achieve. And that is like the secret to success in general, is being willing to do what most people aren't. And guess what? Most people don't invest in themselves, but you do. And that's the dose. Have a great week, guys.